Hey boys, how are we? So recently I've had a lot of people ask me how if I listen to music when I play or what's the go because I don't mute my clips and almost every single video I have uploaded has game audio. So I'm going to explain how I do it because I listen to music almost every single game I play, especially like games I can play by myself. Um, and yeah, so there's there's a way to doing of doing it, but there's no video online that I've seen, so I'll probably be the first one to make this. It's very easy to do, but no one's made a video about it. And a lot of this I had to figure out myself. I've been doing this for about three and a half years now, maybe four, it'd be close to four years. Um, I've been using this trick and it's, not many people know it. It's a shame because I see a lot of videos with muted audio clips and stuff and it's pretty dull. I reckon game audio changes a video, so um, it's really easy. So all you gotta do is download this thing, I'll put it in the description. It's called Virtual Audio Cable. Essentially what we're doing is making two audio cables and then... Okay, I'll, hang on, I'll just explain how Shadowplay works real quick. Shadowplay runs off your default audio device and by default everyone has their one default. Um, without Virtual Audio Cables not many people have separate default um, playback devices or recording devices and Shadowplay picks up on the one. So if you have one alone without a Virtual Audio Cable you've got nothing but everything going through the one and what we're doing is separating the audio lines so Shadowplay picks up only what you want Shadowplay to pick up essentially you download this there's a free version you can download online blah 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 but um it's got a watermark or it's audio watermark it's really weird it keeps saying trial in the background like every 20 seconds and you don't want that so just download this um this is the full version blah 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 blah, blah. um so there's a setup normal and a 64. The 64 is the 64 bit and the normal is the 32. Um, if you're not sure about how to uh, see if you got 64 or uh, 32 bit, you can just go here, system type, it'll tell you 64 or 32. Then install the right one. So I'd install 64 if I was to reinstall it, but I've already got it installed. So I'm not going to do that. Then you go to the folder, 64 being 64 bit, 86 being 32. Then you go to VCC TL pan and you open that. You might want to open it as admin um, to see it to make sure it works properly. Um, then you come, you won't see this here when you open it the first time. All you got to do is set this to two, press set. You'll notice two cables get created. Then you can close this. Leave this folder open because we're going to return to it in a second. Next step is going to your sound settings. So right click your speech icon down in the right corner, go to sound settings, sound control panel, click out of this. Now we're in here. I got to say before we go any further, you may want to watch this video before doing it okay and I'll tell you why because you won't be able to hear any, hear me talk if you do this next step so the next step you gotta basically just right click set as default to line one that's it okay but you don't want to do that straight away because you won't be able to hear me so watch everything I'm about to do before you do it otherwise you're gonna lose ability to hear me um, then go to recording and go to line one and make sure this is disabled and then close out of that and you're done Okay, so you may be asking how how can I hear through it if it's not going to work. So what you do is you just go to audio repeater normal right here. Um, it'll open this. I've already got two open, so I'll show you what they look like. One and two. Um, essentially what you're doing is you're selecting your line one audio cable and then you wave out. So you're basically setting line one to out into your headphones. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Um, you got to do this every time you start your computer, which is the main problem. But what you do is just pin it to your taskbar and open two and do it, and you're done. Um, you just select line one, headphones, change the buffer from it'll be default to 500. You want to change that to 50. The higher it is, the more millisecond delay there is in the audio. You want minimum delay, so 50, and you won't notice a single difference between uh, audio cables or the normal um, output that you had before. Um, you want to do this for both, so you want to line two as well into headphones and I'll explain why. Okay, so the next part is if you're using Spotify. I'll get into the free uh, way of doing it in a second, but for Spotify, you're going to need this application called a Qualify Pro. Um, this is a the thing I was talking about before. It's a one-time payment of 15 euros. Uh, once you pay it once, you never have to pay it again and it's lifetime, so you can use it on, uh, I think it's three different um, systems. Um, before you have to buy a new key, but um, yeah, so essentially it's free forever. And then once you, if you buy that, you don't have to. Obviously, you can still use Winamp, which I'll get into in a second. Um, you download it, make sure Spotify is closed, install it, and then when you open it, you want to press a song once. I can hear this, but you won't be able to hear this, and I'll show you why. 
because this icon won't show until you pro uh, select a, the song first. Once you've selected the song and that icon comes visible, go settings, device, let me just pause this. Um, then you just want to change your device to line in two, double press it, press apply, close, and then just press another song so it switches audio cable. See, I can hear this right now, but you can't because I'm recording this with Shadowplay. Um, and that's basically it, and you're done. That's how you do it. Now for the Winamp, which is the free way of doing it, you download the songs you want, right? You download all your music. It's a bit of a hassle. Um, so I recommend just, you know, if you predominantly use Spotify to do that, but you don't have to. Um, you, what you do is you import your music, go to Options, Preferences. It'll bring you straight to Plugins Output. Then go to Direct Sound Output, double click that, and just change it to Audio Line 2. And press OK, and you're done. And then press a song. I can hear this. Oh, it's not playing for some reason. I don't know. But yeah, that's how you do it. Um, it's pretty easy to do. And yeah, now that's it. So hopefully I've helped someone. And being the first video doing this, um, hopefully you enjoy it. I have a few more things I'm going to work on. Uh, I'm working on the FPS um, aim tips part two because it's been a long time since I've done that and that video is very basic I want to go through a lot of things um, which should be out maybe soonish um, I had an issue with my HDD so I'm pretty limited on how much recording space I have at the moment but I'm still doing my best to keep working on stuff while I get a new hard drive and uh, yeah so stay tuned for some of those if you like what you see drop a sub like the video blah 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 all the YouTuber stuff and yeah Thanks for watching, boys. Hope you enjoyed it.